This video covers the design phase of the 2015 National Green Building Standards Scoring Tool and is the second video in the series. If you haven't already, you should watch the previous video, Introduction to the NGBS Green Scoring Tool. After reading through the Info and Intro tab, you should begin on the Overview Design tab. Here you will enter some general information about your project. Fields in yellow are mandatory and must be filled out before going any further. The availability of many practices are based on information in this sheet. Selecting state and county will populate the climate and radon zone information for you. As already mentioned in the Info and Intro tab and the Introduction video, do not paste information into the tool from any source. Not Word, not Excel, not even another copy of the tool. For the most part, it shouldn't let you break anything, but sometimes you can, and you may not immediately see any indication that something is wrong. Do not paste anything into the tool. Once you've entered all mandatory information on the Overview tab, you can proceed to the various chapter tabs. Each chapter tab has a summary in the header which gives you information about your progress within that chapter. It will track your total points and what level you have reached so far for that chapter, as well as whether there are any errors or missing mandatories. You can provide an answer to each practice or leave them blank. As you select practices, the points will automatically accumulate. Make sure you address any fields that are marked as mandatory. The notes column is available for making any relevant comments that may help you or the verifier understand your intention. Some practices have mandatory notes, which will turn yellow once the practice is selected. Mandatory notes remain yellow even after you have filled them out. After you have completed each chapter and there are no errors indicated in their headers, you have completed the design phase. There are two supplemental sheets after the chapter sheets. The first is the required documentation sheet. This shows information on what documentation is needed for each practice. This information is pulled from the verifier's resource guide. This page can be filtered based on practices that were selected or coded in the design chapters. Coding and filtering are covered in depth in the fourth video in the series titled Coding and Filtering. The next tab is the Design Summary tab, which shows the points and status of each chapter. If you do not have any errors in the headers of the individual chapter design sheets, you will not see any errors here. But if you overlooked one or two, this sheet will function as a reminder that you should go back and resolve some errors. The tool is now ready to be handed off to your verifier. That's it for this video. Have fun scoring your project to the 2015 National Green Building Standard.